Good morning. Good morning, lovely people. I hope you are doing well on this rainy January day, um, Tuesday, 19th of January, 2021. I hope you're having fab fabulous time. Uh, this is your Yoga Solutions Live with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. So, um, yeah, once again, I, I um, didn't post this um, class until the uh, last minute. Um, uh, my admin is getting a bit overwhelming. Um, so I, I tend to do things last minute. Um, uh, so yeah, before before I kick off, I just mention um, you can join any of my, uh, come and drop in for any of my classes. I've got one later on today uh, at 11.30, one tomorrow at 11 a.m. They're, they're, they're classes for all levels, um, ge always gentle and always um, appropriate for whoever, whoever turns up. Uh, there's a there's a Monday evening one as well for those uh, a bit more um, a bit more familiar with my work. Um, that's at six thirty p.m. Uh, and uh, this coming Saturday, twenty third, I have one of my uh, uh, wonderful Saturday morning retreat workshops. Uh, that, um, they're always amazing. Uh, I always have a wonderful time and um, a gentle flow, uh, again, based on the needs of the participants, because I, um, I, I like to theme things on the go. And I have some basic themes that turn up um, most most of the time, but um, it's uh, I like to respond to the people in front of me. So you can um, sign up for any of those individually, or if you want to get some superb value, you can... Uh, become a, a gold member um, and for that you can turn up to uh, any of those things and you get on-demand access to all the previous recordings so there's got to be a couple hundred classes maybe 20 workshops all beautifully themed um, and um, I, I had an email from uh, someone that um, turned up to a workshop recently um, uh, that uh, had been um, well, she she first joined me a few years ago uh, when when I uh, first started putting online courses on uh, for um, for the general public. I, I've been doing it for a, for about a decade now um, for for my teacher trainees and um, other people. But um, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, and she said uh, that the, one of my first courses, the embodied living um, uh, course, uh, she she took she took part in it. And uh, she's been revisiting it and just doing half an hour of a class, um, absorbing the stuff, playing with it for, and, for a little while, and then coming back a week later and doing the f whole thing. She's been doing this for two years. And um, she said uh, it's, it's had phenomenal effect on um, ongoing hip issues and stuff have released. And, and she emailed me with this question around uh, going back to uh, you know, doing her exercise. Uh, because uh, she found that when she got back to exercise, it put everything back to the old way. So anyway, I gave her some advice. And um, um, so what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, it, it, it reminded me that the content that I've got out there um, that has been out there for a long time is is actually superb. It's, um, you know, uh, a few years ago when I was doing this, I was very much on this tip um, that I'm on now. Uh, uh, there might have been a, a few more structural details or something, so I'm getting more and more about the um, sort of energetics of things, um, if you like. I, I don't like that word, energetics, because it makes it seem vague and, and um, intangible, whereas uh, was actually the reason I'm getting into it more is because it's just a, a language that refers to direct somatic experience that you can, anyone can have. If, if they um, do it in their bodies, you, you can do anything you like in your head and just be imagining it and not gain the real benefit that is available. Um, but my, my, my aversion to using that word is about that propensity to not actually create the physical conditions for the real thing to happen. Because that, that, that's when we truly experience the, the bliss of um, a, a consciousness truly embodied, you see. So anyway, um, what was I saying? There's superb content out there. That course um, that the uh, that um, this lady um, was talking about, it was a couple of years ago. It wasn't as um, good quality videoing, but the content was superb, and um, and she's got amazing benefit out of it. And it's cheap as chips. 
um, for, for the for less than hundred quid, I think you get twelve one and a half hour sessions um, that are themed and structured to so, to take you through a process, and it's called embodied living. It's a, it's a guide for taking your um, kind of uh, somatic intelligence, you know, the the ability to respond intelligent, intelligently to the body signals. Um, by by being with the world, you know, uh, so, so uh, that that's what it's designed for, and um, yes, it, it, superb content, superb value, and uh, it's out there, and um, and uh, you know, go uh, if if you're if you're not wanting to work with me direct or turn up for anything live, don't get one of my courses. There, there, there's so many uh, for for, a le for a less than a tenner, you can get my ultimate deep deep relaxation course. Or you get it for free if you sign up for, um, is it 20? No, it's 20 quid for my ultimate relaxation course. There's 15 plus um, guided deep relaxations that are more than just relax. You know, they, they give you um, <clears throat> a really clear um, breathing relationships to earth and space that will heal you, you know. Um, that, that, that's less than 20 quid or you get it for free if you sign up as a silver member which is less than 10 pounds a month and for that you get um that for free and you get access to every single yoga solutions uh, broadcast i've done so um anyway uh, that's a little plug for my stuff um uh, uh, it goes all the way up to high-end content all my somatic intelligence courses uh, the um um, uh, haptic intelligence, proprioceptive, core intelligence, structural intelligence, and uh, my most recent one, Envirosomatic One. Um, I'm brewing another course that's going to be um, that's going to begin when I've uh, downloaded the full content. Uh, it, that it sort of comes to me all in one go, and then I make a list, and then I've got my course. Um, so uh, th th that'll be coming soon. But um, there's so much available. Go to the website. Sign up for free. Um, you get access to a couple of workshops, a few classes for free on the on the blog. Okay, um, uh, or if you want to get more content, silver membership, less than ten or a month, you get loads of stuff. And if you want to really dive deep and uh, change, begin to change your life, uh, sign up for gold. Um, uh, uh, gold means you can turn up to classes and workshops, but it's for you only. Platinum is where I interact with you, so you get direct. Um, uh, guidance from me uh, specific to what's going on for you okay um, so that, that's enough of a plug um, now to get on with the content today today um, well I, I'm I'm wanting to go into these deeper realms that I'm exploring at the moment um, I mentioned it a bit earlier as it's referred to as the sort of energetics and my, my big thing around it has always been around uh, people sitting there disembodied, sort of imagining things and, and, um, and experiences. And it probably, probably does something useful for the mind. But if when you engage with such things, you come out and your body's stiff or tired or, or uh, you know, a bit achy, it means you've disembodied in order to do it. And uh, the, the way I engage with these things, um, I come out of it and my body's alive, it's refreshed, it's re-energized, I'm rebalanced and I'm ready for the day, you know? So um, I, I want to um, <clears throat> involve some content today that explores this sort of possibility of, of um, real engagement that allows you to have a direct somatic experience of these um, energetic centers, if you like. Uh, and, the, and the way you, you experience those things is through the rhythms of breathing. And um, in my sense of things, it's when the breath is released that you kind of gain the most benefit uh, and, the most, and the most direct experience. And, and how to not just be there doing that, but to use it as a guide for your physical practice. Um, essentially, the, the, the areas I'm talking about within are um, somatic experiences of areas along the front of the spine that are um, touched by the breath, moved by the breath, but are also often um, 
constricted by action, by physical action. So uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let, let's see. So um, here we go. Uh, so say say um, you want to feel open, okay? And and you're sitting and you're you're doing um, you're sitting upright and you're wanting to feel open and that that holding of the uprightness makes you feel open. But if you're holding yourself up, you'll be holding yourself together at the at the spine somewhere along in the lumbars probably. Uh, some people it would be around the sacral lumbar junction. Uh, some people it would be, be around the thoracic lumbar junction. Somewhere it's uh, for some people it's directly in the middle, uh, the um, spine behind the navel. Um, when you hold the spine, the spine is no longer touched by the breath. It is something that's simply holding you whilst you breathe. So, uh, and, and I'm sure you get this from, from your yoga teacher, is that there needs to be a sense of breathing into your back. Um, and because if, um, if you can get that feeling of your back itself breathing, then you won't be using your spine to hold yourself up because um, that in order to have that experience you need to relax your spine and what will happen if, if you just try this with me put put your hand on one hand on your back one hand on your belly take a breath as if the job is to breathe into your back or to breathe into the hand at the back and you will find to make that happen your belly will, will work which uh, most people will consider as um, tension but it's not it's it's appropriate supportive effort coming from the very core of your body um, in response to having a breath that is both uh, sourced in the ground, sourced in your contact with the ground, and subsequently with the release of the breath, if, if you don't hang, fall down in space towards the ground, if instead you give your weight to your contact, then that uh, the core of the body will get involved with that. Now, th th that's just the mechanics of it. Um, if you want to get into the subtle side of things, the subtle side of things, it, it, it's subtle because you're not feeling the muscles so much. That, that's all. That, that's the only thing that makes it subtle. Um, the, the subtlety is when you have good relationships to the earth and good relationships to the space all around and above you. So you don't really notice that you have to engage with these efforts because you won't be having to do it. It'll be the breath that causes it to happen. That's all. So um, let, let's um, let's try something simple. Uh, if, you, if you're okay cross-legged, then you can sit. Uh, if that's difficult, you can sit on a chair or you can kneel, whatever you like. We're, we're just going to do a simple um, seated twist. And... Um, I'm going to take you into some sort of strange territory, and I, I'm trusting that this is okay. Um, you know, my my I have this fear of um, of going all uh, uh, woo woo <laughs> on people, so that they don't. Uh, so so that what I'm saying, so so that its meaning is lost. So I, I'd like to make sense of things, and I'm going to attempt to do that today. Um, so uh, see, simple seated twist. So first of all, just uh, organize yourself in a position where you're not kind of um, hardcore doing a posture. You just turn to the right. Um, I would gently clasp your hands, lay them on the lap, sort of hang back from that a bit so you release tension. Have a breath or two and see if you can relax into the situation that you find yourself into. Okay. And it's as simple as that. A few um, pointers. If you drift weight around so that you're not unduly heavy on the side you're turning to. So basically make your touch about even. Then um, you won't get distortions in, in the, in the, from the base up. So the thing that's going to bring it into the deeper aspects of relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm t always talking about your relationship with the earth beneath and your relationship with the space above and all around you. Um, what, what, what does relationship mean? Um, well, 
it's through the breath. So if try the, try this, it's a very it's an odd thing, and I did it in class last night, and it seemed to go down okay. Imagine that whilst you're sitting out, kind of relaxing where you are, imagine that it's the earth itself beneath you that is breathing. So the, the, the planet beneath you fills with air, and in doing so, it sort of presses up into you. And then when the earth beneath you releases the breath, see if you can uh, kind of fall with it. See if you can drop, um, and it's your base. See if your base can stay with the earth as, as it deflates underneath you. So imagining that, obviously, um, you know, the, the breath that you're experiencing is your own, but imagining that it's the earth that is breathing with the idea that it's expanding into you to breathe and then deflates away from you and you, you go with it, with, with the release of the breath, will get you to um, do less to your body and rely more on what's happening. So you get the facility to sort of make sure that you're kind of comfortable with it, like you would be if you were in a lift that was going up and down. You, know, you find ways of resting into the contact, even though there's movement. Now I'd like you to take your attention into your um, lower belly, the, the, this area, within your pelvis. And you can include um, your pelvic floor in that. So when the earth fills with breath imagine that a small part of that comes up into you through your pelvic floor and into your lower belly then the earth deflates and you feel the ground falling away from you as you stay with it with your base so that's if that's happening you should feel um if you, if you imagine the, the breath that's coming from below sort of touches inside your pelvis, then you should feel the pelvis filling a little and emptying a little as the earth falls away from you. It's the emptying that kind of feeds you. So here's, a, here's an imagination thing you can try. That breath that you receive from the earth is giving you energy. But you only kind of absorb it when the earth lets go of the breath. So there's a sort of dissolving inwards, up through your tail, up through your root, and into the center of your pelvic bowl. That goes with the release of the breath, that goes with the sense of that your base falling down away from you. And that emptying, that dissolving in, connected to your relentless contact with the ground, regardless of the fact that it's falling away from you as the breath releases, should start to sort of dissolve things into the center of the pelvis to give you a, if you want to feel the physiology of it, to give you a sense of some core responsiveness in there. But if you imagine it as how you are absorbing the energy of the breath, you know, as a breath dissolves inwards, that's when you are fed by it. You can also imagine it continuing to sort of feed up through you as the breath continues to release. Physiologically, it's quite simple. The, the pressure in the belly is reducing, the air leaves the lungs, so there's an upward movement. So it's a real thing that's happening. But keeping your attention with the breathing earth beneath you and allowing the, its energy to dissolve into you and up through you as you release the breath will give you a kind of picture 
that allows you to feel that growing strength and support traveling up through your spine. And it doesn't stop in the lower belly. If it's got as far as your upper belly, you should find the upper belly starting to um, absorb the breath it receives, receives from the earth, dissolve inwards. And if you're not pushing your lap away from you, if you're starting to rest into your hands, then the spine above it, the heart, can start to become a place that you receive energy. And it dissolves inwards. Okay, let's try the other side. Start relaxed. Don't start with any tension that you accrued on the other side so you can hang back a bit have a breath or two and then organize things so that your contact is um, about even in terms of weight have a breath or two there and if you've got the idea then you can start straight away imagine the earth breathe, uh, filling with breath and coming out to meet you with it and if some of that reaches inside of you, it doesn't matter how far up, but uh, it mustn't be blocked at any point by the spine, by the spine holding you up. Wherever it gets to, it dissolves into that place with the release of the breath as the planet falls away from you and as you make sure you stay with the contact for support. Like you would in a lift that's suddenly dropping. Drop with it. And as what comes up into you dissolves into you with the release of the breath, and it can travel up through you to the next area. And if if you can get a sense of the arriving breath from beneath you um, reaches as far as the lungs and the heart. Um, it'll be because you're not pushing yourself away from your hands. It'll be more because you are resting through your shoulders to your hands. And pulling your shoulders down your back will uh, bugger the whole thing up. So it's more about feeling supported than um, doing stuff to your body. Okay. So if you, if you can get a sense of the breath from the ground, reaching the heart, widening to either side of the heart, to the back of the heart, to the front of the heart, as it dissolves inwards and you drop your base away from you with the earth, you might feel a dissolving inwards that sends you heavenwards through your, through your crown. And of course that will depend on your throat, your third eye. So have a, have a breath, see if it can reach your throat from the ground. Pause. And as the earth falls away from you, everything beneath your throat drops with it but within the throat dissolves inwards. And if it dissolves inwards enough, it travels upwards into your head. Let's swap sides again. See if we can get straight to the throat on this side. The earth breathes, it comes up into you, all the way up into your, into your, thir uh, into your throat. Pause for a moment if you can't find it. There'll be something beneath it in the way. So you reorganize, perhaps resting close to your hands through your shoulders, um, perhaps making sure there's no blocks in the sp lower half of the spine. And when the breath reaches the throat, the planet uh, falls away from you with the release of the breath and everything below the throat can drop with it. to bring you up into your third eye, your, your brain, the center of the brain. Imagine the head breathing from the earth. And you need to get a sense of floating the head so that as if the breath is kind of all around you as well. And once again, everything below your um, center of your head falls away from you with the release of the breath. But the energy that you received in there dissolves inwards and starts to creep upwards through your crown. If you get to the top of things, if you get to, your, to the top of your head, 
have a breath up, up to there. Pause. Stay there as the body from the crown down falls in with the earth as it deflates. And allowing the energy of the breath to sort of um, intensify in the area above your head as the breath releases. If that happens, the next breath, as well as the planet beneath you breathing, imagine the atmosphere, the whole of the world's air, the sky, the clouds, also taking a breath out into space. And when that breath releases, there's a deflation that comes back down to your crown and can continue all the way through you to the center, to, to the earth, to the earth. If you can do both at the same time, where you're receiving breath all the way through you from the ground and from above into, into you. When you release the breath from above, something can release all the way down and from below, something can release all the way up. So you become kind of suspended between heaven and earth through your breathing. Change sides, last go. Start relax so you're not contrived. Make your base body equal, have a breath, let it go. See where you turn up, where's your center. Bring it up to the, with the, with the release of the breath, let it travel up higher. Take a breath at the next center from the ground. With the release of the breath, as it dissolves inwards, let it travel up higher within you. So past the throat, third eye, into your crown. And if the release of the breath from the earth can dissolve into the crown with the, um, as the body falls down away from it with the earth, then the next breath you can take from above. And as the planet releases the breath out, that energy dissolves inwards through your crown. And if it accumulates enough, it can pour vertically down through you back to the earth. As the energy from below meets the same place, dissolves into the crown and flies up. Allow the two to balance each other out from above to below, from below to above. Receiving the breath from both ends. And as it releases, it flies up through you and it pours down through you. And it will be, you'll end up in a direct relationship to um, center of the earth beneath you, the infinity above you where you are engaging to stay in contact with those things but those things are your support as you breathe and as you release the breath from both directions it needs to cross at the heart and if you you can choose where you center whilst you're doing this and personally i like to center in my heart other alternatives would be the throat, that will make you feel calm, third eye, that will make you um, clearer in your perception, or the space above your head. And that will turn it into a meditation. Okay. So, uh, 
yeah, <laughs> wild and wacky stuff. Um, I feel great for doing that. I needed to do that. I hadn't had a chance to meditate this morning. Um, I, I did a brief thing to bring myself back to my center before doing this. But um, yeah, I hope you practiced with me and felt the benefits. If uh, you feel to share this around on Facebook, do so. Um, please do it with, uh, in communities or with people that you think might, would appreciate it. Um, um, yeah, and uh, it will stay up for a few days and I uh, hope you enjoy it. I don't know if you can download Facebook videos, but uh, feel free to if you like. Uh, or you can sign up for my silver membership and get everything I've done for the last year and a half or so. Um, uh, along with the ultimate relaxation course. Okay, so yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful. Leave some comments. Give me some feedback so that I um, know I'm not uh, <laughs> um, upsetting people with my my this new stuff. Um, let me know. And uh, yes, I shall look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week. Much love to you all. I know.